before you this morning with thanksgiving in our hearts, Jehovah. Thank you because of enabling us to be arrived this day to share your resurrection today, Jehovah J. Be with us and as we start, Jehovah, I pray that your Holy Spirit may guide me, may use me, uh, you may use me as your vessel to deliver the message to your people. This I do pray, believing and trusting in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We may be seated. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord once again. My name is uh, Mrs. Bernadette Mwaneki. I'm from Loymen Church. And I'm so grateful to be here together with you. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. What a great joy for us to be alive and to be breathing at this time. We are sharing the resurrection of Jesus. I want to thank the Lord because of this opportunity because we have been able to go through very well. And I want to thank the Lord because of how we have started in a good mood. And it is like the way we started, the way we praise, the way we have been doing, it's like we have, you have been preaching. Praise the Lord. And I want us to share with the, the word of God from the book of Matthew chapter uh, 28. And the title or the topic of my message today is about the importance of resurrection. Praise the Lord. The importance of resurrection. There was a violence at the quick when an angel of the Lord came down from heaven and going to the top. The first sign to show that Jesus had resurrected was the sign of the earthquake. Praise the Lord. When the angel appeared and sat on the and on the stone that was covering the top of Jesus Christ. If there was a shaking power that could even shake the guards, we read in the first, uh, first four and we see that the guards were shaken. They were frightened. It was as if they were dead because of what they saw with the angel. Praise the Lord. They, are, they, they did not imagine that such a situation, such power, would come from the atop that they thought that it was just a, just a person praise the lord they were just thinking that it was an ordinary person who was laid in that tub but it was not light from where jesus had been laid right from the time he was crucified there was power praise the lord right from the time jesus was preaching the word when he was doing his work there was power that was following him. And even as the time that he came to the resurrection time, there was power. Praise the Lord. The angels said to the women, do not be afraid. I know that you are looking for Jesus who he was crucified. You can imagine the time Jesus was being crucified. There were people who were saying, hallelujah, good, good, it is good, it is he, he, we have fixed him, praise the Lord. There are those people who we are looking forward to finish him. But they did not know that the, there was great power that was waiting this man. They did not know that whatever they were saying that we have managed to kill him. That I especially we remember those who we are saying crucify him, crucify him. They didn't know that there will come a day that that one will be a forgotten issue. They were not able to know that Jesus was not there to remain in the top, but he was made there to arise and go to his father. Praise the Lord. Do not be afraid. Mary Magdalene and Mother Mary, they were told by the angel, do not be afraid. If I would ask ourselves, suppose Mary Magdalene and Mary did not go to check on the, the top that, where Jesus was laid, who could have delivered the message? Who could have the angel talked to? Praise the Lord. Could there be anyone to be talked to? If they, these two women could not have gone, if these two women could not have gone to the top, you know, we thank God because of the heart that women has. And I want to thank God because of our, I'm a woman right now. I'm preaching during this service of the resurrection of Jesus. If I, I wonder why you'll forgive me. Why? The, the, the God did not send both men and women to go and check. Yet, there were guards there. 
the guards, we have not been told whether they were men or ladies. But when Mary Magdalene went, that is the time the angel woke up. He raised up and told them, do not be afraid. They are the first people who were given the report. Praise the Lord. They were the first people who were delivered the message by the, the, the angel that he is risen. Praise the Lord. The guards were there because whoever had put the guards there knew that men are strong to guard that body. The man himself, he, Jesus was a man and God knew that both men and women shall glorify his power through the resurrection. Praise the Lord. God will be able to show that he is able. He is able to help us. He is able to guide us. When the angel told them, do not be afraid, he is risen. He knew that there was much more that was awaiting us. For us, we could be going through difficult issues. We could be going through hard times. But this morning, due to the power of the resurrected Jesus, I'm there to tell each and every one of us, do not be afraid. Praise the Lord. Whichever situation you'd be going through, there are so many things that comes our way. There are so many things that we could be doing and we feel as if we are going down. But let me tell you, the angel is coming with the power to shake in that situation that you are in. To come with the power of earthquake that is going to shake that frustration situation you are in. To come with the great power of the earthquake that that work that you've been searching for. You have gone through the school, you have read, you have got all the certificates that you have, but yet you have not got a job. Let me tell you this morning, with the power of the resurrected Jesus, do not be afraid. Because there is an angel who is coming to turn the stone and to tell you, do not be frustrated that you do not have work to do. Do not be frustrated because of the situation you are in. A stone is being rolled in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Hold on to Jesus and you will be told, go to Galilee and you will meet Jesus there. Praise the Lord. Then, uh, he, he is not here, he is risen. Just, he, just as he said, come and see the place where he lay. Then go quickly tell the disciples, praise the Lord. You will quickly start going to, to people. You will start telling people what the Lord has done to you. You are going to start telling, or we are going to start proclaiming the gift or the, the, the miracles that God is going to do to us. That frustration or that rejection, people, there are some people who could be going through rejections. There are some people who could be going through uh, maybe your businesses or the way where you are working. If you are being frustrated. You are being rejected. Let me tell you one thing. Jesus is going ahead of you. Praise the Lord. As he said that you will be meet at Galilee. Jesus is going to meet with your needs. Jesus is going to meet with your, with your problems. He will be ahead of you. Praise the Lord. He will be ahead of you in us of most of us who are here, who are in the families. God is going to be ahead of us in our families. And we are going to see the power of his resurrection. Praise the Lord. We are going to, he is going to meet with our needs. And that is why he is not dead anymore. He has risen so that even us, we can arise. We can be able to see him in our day to day's life. Praise the Lord. By, be, be, uh, by, by realizing that God is going to, uh, to help us not to fear, we need to uplift our faith. Praise the Lord. We need to ha have faith in God. We need to believe that in each and everything that we are going to do in our days, today's life, we must hold on to our faith. Praise the Lord. Suppose these women did not believe what the angel were saying. Could they, I, allow me to keep on asking you questions. Rhetoric questions. If only these women could not have gone there, they could have refused and asked the angel, now what are you telling us? You are telling us to go and tell the, age, the, the disciples that he is risen. Where is, the, where is Jesus? Where is he? Eh? 
If only they could have refused to go and say, no, you must show us exactly what has happened. But because they had faith, they believed that it was true that Jesus had risen. Praise the Lord. I was asking myself, if only they could have said, no, why are you telling us that he is going to be risen? Hmm? We have never seen somebody raising up uh, in three days. But you remember, Jesus knew that he was to, 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 to raise. Remember that time that he prayed for Lazarus. He knew that there was power in resurrection. He knew that he was to, to, to resurrect. And so these women had faith because they knew what Jesus has been doing when he was preaching the gospel. Praise the Lord. And so they, they had nothing to doubt. Because even whatever Jesus was preaching, when he was preaching, when he was not crucified, there were so many things, so many miracles that he was performing that could have allowed this Mary and Mary and also the girls to believe that truly Jesus has risen. Praise the Lord. It is for us also to have faith that whatever you may be wishing to have or whatever you want, let faith guide you away. Praise the Lord. Let faith guide your steps. That you say, yes, I want to believe that God is going to heal that person who is sick in your homes. God is going to heal that person who, is an, who, who wants to be, maybe that student who wants school fees. I want to have faith that I am going forward. Those who finish uh, Form 4, they will go to university, they will go to colleges, and by the way, there is no money. But do not be afraid. The power of the resurrected Jesus, when you hold on to your faith, the Jesus will go ahead of you. Praise the Lord. Jesus knows that place that you will go and be employed. Praise the Lord. Jesus knows that courage that you will go. Jesus knows that woman who will, be, who will be hold on to your faith, who will witness that you are being blessed. Praise the Lord. I can see we have so many youngsters here. There are so many issues that are in your life. And especially such a time like this, they are coming up with different groups that do not want to recognize the power of Jesus, that do not want to recognize who God is. Young people who are professionals, they feel that it is out of what is in my mind. That is what is directing me. Oh, unto this, who will fail to recognize that Jesus is the reason. Praise the Lord. Oh, unto these people who will not realize the power of the resurrection. Because they will just be left to wonder. They will be, they are just be left to say, oh, how? How did it happen? How did it happen? But when we hold on to our faith, God is going to take us far. After having faith, there is always hope. We need to have hope. Because if you don't hope for whatever you might want to get, you will, you, you will fall down on the, on the way. Praise the Lord. But when you hold on to Jesus, you will still have hope that even if I have faith, and it is not going to happen immediately, even if you are to wait for 10 years, even if you are to wait for five, two, or one day, let hope remain in your heart. Praise the Lord. Let you hope that God will not let you down. Let you hope that Jesus, with his power of his resurrection, you will be able to get what you wish, or you will be able to get what you, what you have, what you want. Praise the Lord. There is also another thing. We have to have confidence. We need to have confidence. Confidence in facing the situations. Praise the Lord. Confidence of facing life the way it is. Such a time like this, when we are threatened everywhere. When you go to the shops, things are rising every now and then. When you go to the government, the taxes are going higher and higher. When you go to the, some companies, People are being sent home that they are not able to be employed. 
when you go to uh, when you go to schools you see that the government there is no money for the schools there was this uh, insurance for the for the sick when you go to the schools you realize that there are no hakuna uh, hiyo ya kulipia wanafunzi but are we going to be shaken are we going to lose our way are we going to feel that now how how where are we heading to god has kept things things the way they are because he want us to hold we want us to hold on and have confidence when you want to do something you must arise and shake yourself and say by the way i must go and ask for this i must go for this interview i must go for this into this school you as parents i must go to these people who i want to work with in my business i want to go to that governor i want to go to that yeah that high regarded person you just fill yourself with confidence through the power of the resurrected jesus and when you have confidence with you you will never be shaken you will never stay just where you are just waiting and say anyway i can't do anything but when you have confidence in the name of jesus christ you can be able to do great things praise the lord like for example nowadays uh, we realize that they are highness i don't know whether you people here they are highness allowed in our royal praise they are highness and you would hear them every evening especially where i'm living you would hear a haina there is a forest there eh shouting and saying ooh you know that sound and somebody was telling me that that we have been told when the haina comes near you that you talk to it can you imagine talking to the haina when it is about to isn't it here is the haina and you are told to talk to it how are you going to talk to the haina when you know that in a minute you stretch your hand it is gone but because of the confidence that we have you can still have the confidence to speak to it praise the lord a haina could be another sort of a situation you are in i keep repeating that because of it is the, the, the it is my, my topic talk to that eh talk to that situation tell god i know you are able and i know you are going to, i am going far If somebody can tell me to talk to a hyena how about you god when i talk to you god how much more can you do to me praise the lord god can do great things the importance of our resurrection it is going to change our lives when we have done all this when we have we have failed to be fearful or when we don't fear if we don't fear if we have faith if we have hope if we have confidence automatically our lives must be changed praise the lord through the power of the resurrected jesus we can be able to change our life our lives or our ways of living can be able to change simply because we are not living by our own power but we are being guided by the spirit of god jesus when he was about to be crucified He told his disciples I am I will go away from you but I will not leave you alone I will leave you with a comforter and the comforter is the spirit of God praise the lord in our midst the spirit of God is working together with us in the whole in, in our lives we must allow the holy spirit to us praise the lord we must allow the comforter to be with us I may not have enough words to comfort you because of the situations that you are in in your life but I'm telling you when you have hope when you have faith your life must be changed praise the lord you are, must get a new revelation you must be resurrected your situation must be resurrected because there is power like that which shaken the Uh, the, the the place where jesus was laying like that violence of the adequic is how god is going to change our lives praise the lord is how god is going to show us that 
he is going to uh, he, we, our situations are going to reason we shall no more say that we are not able we shall no more cry that the taxes has gone high we shall no more say that there are no jobs we shall no more say that there are at the things in the shops or our daily basic needs has risen and we are not able let me tell you we must change our attitude we must change our our mind the way of thinking the way of doing things we must hold on to jesus so that we can be able to change our life praise the lord so that we can be able to allow jesus to change our lives as i am sitting here I could not have thought that I would ever start here in front of uh, PCA Kiselian. But I want to say that God can do great things. God can do and can change uh, situations because he sees ahead. Jesus said, "Go to Galilee and we meet you even new. Wait and upon God, you will meet with Jesus at Galilee of your situation." Praise the Lord. God going to meet your garden where you are god is going to meet your family god is going to meet your children most of us who are the children he is going to meet with them he is going to talk with our children god is going to speak to your studies god is going to speak to your work wherever you are god is going to speak to your business praise the lord he is going to change our lives He is going to meet us in our own garden. And after we have met in, he has met us in the garden, we shall go out and proclaim his goodness. Praise the Lord. We shall go out and say, we have seen his power. We have seen the power of his resurrection in whatever way we have seen. These women didn't keep quiet. They went ahead and said, he is risen. He is risen. even us in our conditions we shall still continue to say we have seen god we have seen what he can do and we have seen that really god is with us the importance of resurrection on other side is that why jesus resurrected is for us to 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 have the baptism that is another way of the importance of resurrection Baptism came because we believe that Jesus died and resurrected. That was also another importance of resurrection. The holy communion that we do partake, it is also as a result of power of resurrected Jesus. The gospel that we are preaching today, it is because of the resurrection of Jesus. What could have happened? if Jesus did not resurrect what could we be saying yeah the people who crucified him and they were very happy that they had put him down can you imagine if Jesus had not risen what could have happened to us those of those people who we are preaching and saying and believing in Jesus they could have said he was telling us that he is that god is in him we were calling him the king of jews now where is he he is no more but the reason for the resurrection is for us to preach the gospel we preach the gospel confidently we preach the gospel with great faith we preach the gospel with a heart of hope that people are going to believe and trust in god we preach the gospel to have confidence that whatever we are saying whatever god is guiding us to speak it out it is exactly what is required of our times praise the lord we preach the gospel so that people can change their lives praise the lord there are people who do not care but once the gospel is given out you see people get born again i don't know how many of us are born again as we are seated here because we are preaching the gospel that changes our life i'm preaching a gospel that can change your life forever and ever i'm preaching a gospel that can do miracles i'm preaching a gospel that can heal i'm preaching a gospel that can lift us from one level to another level praise the lord 
Suppose Jesus did not resurrect. What could have happened? What could have happened? How many books could have written to show that there is nothing about Jesus? Hmm? What could it, those people who were enemy of the gospel by that time? What what are the books that could have come or the the the, the issues that could have arisen? But because God knew that He had sent His only begotten Son out of His great love for us, Jesus was to resurrect, and that is why we are celebrating and we are happy with the Easter. Happy Easter! His reason we are celebrating the power of his resurrection. The gospel, after preaching the gospel, we come to our lives. We feel that the gospel brings forgiveness. The gospel enables us to repent our sins. Why? Because we have seen that the one whom we believe in is no more dead, but he is alive. We repent our sins. Praise the Lord. How many times do we repent? Because we sin 70 times what? 70 times 70. How many times do we repent? How many times do you forgive those who have, eh, who have done wrong to you? The power of the resurrected Jesus enables us to forgive one another. Praise the Lord. Maybe you left at home and you were so down. By the power of the resurrected Jesus, can you start telling your heart, I have forgiven those who have failed me. Even us, when we repent, can you forgive that person who will come and ask for forgiveness? Praise the Lord. Just let allow God to enable to work in your heart so that you can enjoy the importance of his resurrection. Praise the Lord. The another point is to be connected to God. When you do all the things that I have talked about, you will surely be connected to God forever. You will surely be seeing God in every step that you are making in your life. Praise the Lord. You will never fear anything. Why? Because you are connected to God. The, mic, the, 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 the gadget I am using here or this device here, it has been connected to the power. And that is why you are able to hear me loud and clear. Let us connect to our Jesus loud and clear in our lives. So that you can, you, 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 God can be seen in your life. God can be seen in every part of your life. You can bear fruits that will show that really there is a very wonderful tree that is growing in you, that is going to enable you to preach the word, that is going to help you to declare that you know the reason why Jesus has resurrected. May God bless you so much. As we look forward to being courageous, that is not fearing. As we look forward to having faith, hope, confidence, and changing our lives so that our God can remain to be seen that he resurrected for a good reason in our lives. Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to thank you and to glorify your name, Jehovah. Thank you because of the few ones that you have enabled me to deliver to us, Jehovah, because you wanted us to hear from you. I pray that you may bless us that we may be dwellers of the word and not just hear us so that your name shall be glorified and we shall live to enjoy the power of your resurrection. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I do pray and give thanks. Amen. God bless you and have a nice week. <laughs>